How's it going guys? Uh, I bought this Mark VI Jetta GLI and I absolutely love the car. It looks great, it drives great, it feels great. There's just one thing I don't like about this car and that is the store trim. So, I'm going to attempt to take this door trim off without tearing up the paint. And I think I found one way to do that. And it's going to be a bit difficult and a bit, um, sorry, I'm trying to set up a fan. A bit, I guess, tedious, not really. I saw a few ways to do this. Um, one little trick that I found was get a wire and two wrenches and then wrap that wire around the wrenches and just go beneath that trim and kind of just work it back and forth. Um, I'll have to set up the camera to show you. And then I saw another way with a heat gun. I think that's going to have to be how I get all this adhesive off. I already tried to put this on there and it actually worked pretty damn good. Um, I'm trying to get it off to where I can sell them on Facebook or something. So I can mod some, I can do some other mods to the car. But my main objective is to do this without scratching the paint. And so yeah, I'll show you how I'm doing that. All right, got a nice little tripod. I'm gonna take this wire, put it behind here and keep these closest to the door as possible but make sure you don't scratch your paint with the ends and just work your way back and forth it's actually working pretty good oh wow it's actually working very good wow just like that. That was actually like stupid easy. And it doesn't look too bad. Like, yeah, I'm gonna have to clean that up, but yeah, I mean, if you do scratch your paint, just get a buffer and some stuff, and then just buff it out. It should come right on out. Um, but that's awesome. I didn't have to do a heat gun and I didn't have to peel it like some videos you'll see, and it's still in perfect shape, which is awesome. So heck yeah. I'm going to keep doing that. Totally took all the shit off already on the sides. And it already looks better. And I got the tent. I just got the windows tinted today. Actually, just like a few hours ago. So that's all new. I got 5% in the back windows, the rear. And then I got 15% in the front. But yeah, it looks a lot better than all that black shit on there. I had to go get like a rubber wheel. It's a four inch adhesive remover wheel, I'll show you. I think I left it on my trunk and drove off with it this morning, so I'm not too sure if I have it, but I put the brow up there. And now I just need to black out these reflectors, paint this black, this chrome trim piece. Uh, I got some tint to tint the yellow headlights. Uh, I need to get a front lip. I need, to, I already ordered, I think I said, but I ordered a tune cold air intake and some tint already for the head fog lights um i got the short throw shifter coming in the mail and the spark plugs so all that stuff's coming i should have gotten a downpipe in a stage two I sh that's what i should have done but even with just that stuff i think we'll be fine but yeah it's so much darker in here it's way better than what it used to be but um yeah, let's fucking uh, drive home. So I'm not gonna lie. I went to Smithville and bought a wheel, a little four inch wheel, um, an adhesive remover wheel like I was talking about in the previous clip. And I totally left it on my trunk this morning and drove off, so I don't have it anymore. But I can show you the result. That is the result. And it looks good, but it has, we still have that little black mark and some, just a little bit of leftover shenanigans. So I actually am going to pull this in the garage and buff it up. I'm going to buff it and polish it to make it look all nice and smooth. So 
you won't have that anymore. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna pull it into the garage and then we will get to buffing. All right, so I got the passenger side done. I just didn't record it because I've been listening to music, but this is the result. It looks pretty damn good, honestly. Looks a lot better. I'll record, I'll do like a little time lapse for the next one and it's hot as shit out here. I'm sweating, just buffing a car. Um, I buffed this tail light, I still gotta uh, polish it. I'm about to buff this one and polish it. And I just got my pad ready for this door or these two doors. So what you do first is you take your little buffing machine if you have one and kind of just go where you want, where you're gonna have it. Along down. Oh. And then I just kind of come back and blend it. Just like kind of rub it. And then I'll do a time lapse of me actually doing it. All right, after sweating my balls off, buffing this and shit, I think it turned out pretty good. Honestly, I think it turned out pretty damn good. Personally, I didn't like them. For right here, I didn't, it wasn't really my style, but I think it looks a lot better now. So that's how you do that. And uh, hope you learned. I didn't know how to do it, so I looked up a video, and that's what I was told was the wire and the wrench and shit. So I'm painting some of the trim on the car, just one little spot. Just this upper chrome little trim piece. I'm just using some paint and painting that, and I think it'll make the car look way, way better, because that one little trim piece doesn't look that great. I want to get rid of all the trim, really, but I'm probably not going to do that. Like, I want to get this black this black uh the gli badge black i want these reverse i want the back of this silver and the volkswagen logo black but i don't know how to do that um i also need to black out or i want to smoke the taillights and i need to get a little kit for these i need to black those out it would make the car look way better but uh yeah it's kind of what i'm up to